How as a trucking business, you should structure the compensation salary package for your truck driver recruiters. I'm gonna show you that all in this video. So most trucking companies, they want good truck driver recruiters and they're very hard to find because they're like salespeople. There's tons of salespeople, but there's very few actual good ones. Let me explain how you should compensate for any new hires that you bring on board as driver recruiters. What should your pay structure look like? How to incentivize for right behavior? And watch till the end, I'll show you a cascading way of compensating your driver recruiters so they help you hire more drivers, better quality drivers, and really, really help you grow your trucking business. Now, the first thing most trucking companies, the way they hire their driver recruiters are salary. And I will show you another method that you should do. Now, the problem with salary is that it's a very base, boring way of paying somebody that's in sales, and there's no really way of incentivizing good behavior. Anytime you have anybody in sales, you need to incentivize for good behavior. Let me explain. So if you have recruiter A and driver recruiter, Joanna, and you hire her at $60,000 a year, the problem with that is if you set a KPI that, hey, Joanna, you have to hire seven drivers, seven to 10 drivers per month when you get hired. What is the consequence if Joanna doesn't hire seven to 10 drivers a month? Does her pay go down? Does she get a bonus if she hires more? What happens then? It is so poorly defined, and what happens is we as humans, we just get comfortable in that pay structure. I see it time and time again, especially for medium to large trucking businesses who have more than one recruiter, this is the roadblock that they run into. Their recruiters either start underperforming or if they're overperformer, they will leave and go to a trucking company that will offer them more salary or has some better kind of comp structure. On the other side, what you need to do is, the solution is you need to have salary plus commissions. And I'll explain, and you may already have something like this. You know, some of the larger trucking businesses do have this structure, but even then they have some issues going on where they may have like an okay salary, so like a medium range salary, and I'll give you some numbers as well. And then lowish commissions, very safe play. What you do wanna do is low salary, and high commissions. Depending on where you are, the kind of trucking business you are, you may be in like a smaller town, maybe in a state the cost of living is not as high as the East Coast or the West Coast or a big city, you can get away with a low salary versus being in New York or being in California or something like that where the cost of living is higher. So let's say you give a $35,000 base and then here you put $500 per head, higher. And as soon as they dispatch, they get this $500 paid. Now the difference between this is, Joanna, who is not performing or overperforming, still gets capped to this and has to wait till Christmas to get any kind of bonus, any kind of good stuff happening. Versus here, same Joanna could actually make twice as much money if he or she is performing really good. So if you do 10 drivers, so if she has $35,000 base, or let's say $36,000 base, just to keep the math simple, 3K base per month, and then over here, she has $500 and she does five hires, which is $2,500 per month, that is $5,500 per month. And if you do 55 by 12, Joanna ends up making more money while hiring less drivers, which is good, because she will feel that she's really doing great stuff. And it's very tangible. We as humans want instant reward, instant gratification of everything that we do. When they are blocked into like the same mundane check and they can't give themselves a raise when they want to, it just bottles their capacity, their capability. Most of the problems that I see with truck driver recruiters is they just get so comfortable in their job, they just don't think of anything new. And when they have a target where they can hire as many drivers and make more money, they will invest in themselves. They'll probably go and get some sales training. They will find more ways of doing their own lead generation, finding more drivers on their own, but just helps you because you have a more motivated individual on your team. Versus on the salary side, you have somebody that's like just 
collecting a paycheck most of the time. And if they don't hit KPIs or they perform under KPIs, there's no consequence to it. And a lot of the driver recruiters, what you want to structure these sales position in that there's no cap to the amount of money that you can take home. So always advertise for like the highest things. Like if your top recruiter is hiring anywhere 10, 10 recruiters, uh, 10 drivers a month, that is 5K right here. So that's $8,000 a month, which is close to 100K salary, almost 100K. So 100K is pretty good in the times that we live in. It may not be high for some people, but that's how you wanna advertise the position for it. You wanna structure it. Now, the other thing I wanna to explain to you is like the cascading way of doing it is like every, so you can also put like every quarter, if their target is, and you have to define these KPIs when you hire uh, driver recruiters, like, hey, if you do not hire less than five drivers a month, you will lose your job. And if you hire more than five drivers a month, then that will keep you on the team. It will keep you on the bench. But let's say in a quarter you hired over 20 drivers, or let's say 17 drivers, and you have to do the math for yourself. Like you have to create your own Excel sheet, run the numbers, and then put it out. Let's say if you hire over 20 drivers in a quarter, we're going to give you an extra thousand bonus, thousand dollars. So let's say every time they hit their quota more, that's extra $4,000 that they're gonna take home at the end of the year. So it's like you have your monthly target, then you have your quarterly target, and it just gives them a tangible thing that they can feel that they're winning, they're doing actually something good. And when you're putting this kind of money in their pocket, it will help them reinvest in themselves, which is very important. Nobody's gonna be able to hire that many drivers. If they don't go through constant sales training, you're helping them with their day-to-day -day management of leads, being on the phone, talking to the drivers, objection handling, all that kind of jazz. But don't ever, ever hire a truck driver recruiter on salary, even if that's what they want, because that's the stigma that, that's going around because there's, there's no formal teaching on how to become a truck driver recruiter. There's a lot of sales training out there, but there's no formal truck driver recruiter, uh, so to speak, training. So most of these uh, truck driver recruiters that are anything good, they come very entitled that we want 100K right off the hop. Guess what? You don't need to settle for that. You could actually hire somebody like this kind of structure and be like, hey, you can make 100K, but this is how your salary is gonna look like. This is what the comm structure is. And run these numbers for yourself. What is it that you're happy to give up? Because if you look at it here, it's like, if you win, they win. So it's a win-win situation. Here it's like, lose-lose. Like you're just paying this money regardless if they're hiring as many drivers as you would like to see or not. And the other thing is, if they don't get enough leads, which is most trucking companies' big issue, they're not gonna hit these numbers. And if you are not able to provide them enough needs, but you're still paying for them being on the team, you're still losing money for something that you shouldn't be. You should be putting more money into generating qualified leads and then compensating the drivers based on the results that they're producing. It's a very um, successful concept. And any, tr any other place that you look beside trucking industry, it's compensated like that. Like if you go at a car dealership, the sales guys get paid the base salary and then how many cars they sell is how much they get paid as commission on top of that. So you wanna do the same thing, don't do the salary stuff. Most trucking companies do that. You wanna stay away from that. Hope this video gave you tons of value. If you want to learn how to find more qualified drivers, work with somebody who's worked with countless trucking companies, coach them from point A to point Z to attract, recruit and retain, please reach out. The link is in the description. And if you really like this video, make sure you like, comment, let me know if there's more you want to learn, if there's specific that you wanted to ask me, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way, any video that I release comes to you first, and you can be in the know of what's working today to find drivers. I will see you in the next video.